Hey guys, good to bad and the unusual. <laughs> um, and we're gonna show some mail. Don't. I'm I won't. Gonna... He's fine. Shh. Mail. All right, mail, and then an episode for you guys. Uh, got a lot of mail, so I'm gonna try and make it fast. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, it's all okay. on your side. First thing is John five. The devil knows my name. I think it's an instructional slash performance by John five. I don't even remember who John 5 played for. I want to say Marilyn Manson, but I don't know. Anyway, I used to work at a music shop, and they always had this, and I always thought about getting it, but it was released by Hal Leonard, which is a company that does musical performances and crap, and it was always just too expensive. I don't know if you can see there. So it was cool to pick it up in a trade. I, I always saw it and thought about getting it, but just it's never did. Um, this next one, I don't know if we showed yet. Um, but we need to. We need anyway, to watch it. Yeah, we need to watch it because we haven't yet. But we got we won this in a competition or a contest giveaway thing. And it was from Mr. Joel or Jesus. And it was, uh, you know what? Did I even mention who gave me this? Nope. Back to this. <laughs> this is from Pilo Terror 88 I'm sorry. He also sent us two mixtapes, which are in uh, her car right now. And she loves it a lot. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I do, but uh, I'm not a fan of the... Every hustling. day I'm hustling. No, that had to go. Sorry. Okay, now back to this. Okay, back to Mr. This Joel slash Jesus. We won this in a contest. It's cool. I haven't watched it yet. Haven't seen it, though. But, but it's, it's Criterion. Cool. Yeah, it, it's going to go great on the Criterion shelf. Yay. 5.35. I think it's the latest one we have. Oh, that's not good. There's like 15 now. There's so many. There's many after this. Uh, All right, next one is from Sweet Tiz, and it is Dead Hooker in a Trunk. This is a film by those girls that are in Lucifer Valentine's movies. Dun, dun, dun. Whoever they are. I don't something, know your names. something sisters. They're twins. That's cool. They like to puke. <laughs> <laughs> Sold my soul to puke. Yep. Nah, that's not cool. Anyway, like twins, I've heard this movie's really good, and I've heard it from many people, so I'm excited to watch it. This is uh, Region 2, I guess. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. Super stoked. I'm very excited about all it. All the actually. awards on that. Yeah, Woo. tons of awards. Supposedly, they're like the shit. And uh, I can't wait to watch this. And um, I can't wait to see Twisted what they do 10. next. Twisted Twins Productions. I'm That's sure so it's cool. going to be uh, phenomenal. Excited. All right. Yeah. Last package we got. Um, we got this a while ago. This is uh, Mike's, I don't want to say latest film because he does like 10 a year. So I'm sure he's done something else. But it's 13 Assassins. This is the. Um, international release of the film. It's like 129 minutes or something like that. Don't quote me. Uh, just look it up if you're, you're curious. International version. Um, this next package we got from a guy named Chad. Um, I will link his channel as along with all these other channels. And he sent me, I want to say the working print, but it's actually like the domestic original release. But I think they already stopped releasing it like this. Um, it has, what, 14 extra yeah, 14. minutes? Um, so that's cool. So cool. cool this to movie have is it. great. It is a great film, by the way. Not gonna lie, he was kind of falling asleep in the beginning. But the then, beginning, uh, the end is incredible. It's all political, and then all of a sudden it's yeah, like awesome. Yeah, they want to talk about their feelings and stuff for a long time, but then <laughs> they stop talking about their feelings and, and they, they start showing ass. their feelings. Their angry feelings. All right, um, you do that one. I don't know anything about it. Neither I just I. know I want to see it. All right, go it talk. is bedeviled. Bedeviled. Maybe. Looks awesome. Can't wait. Supposedly it's a revenge Korean. Yeah, I think it was just released. I don't think that, um, I don't think it has a release anywhere yet. Um, it looks really pretty. Yeah. Can't wait. All right. Next is, what was this called again? Um, Polgasari. Polgasaur. Polgasari. Polgasaur. Polgasaur. All right, here we go. Here we go. Polgasaur. Giant person in a costume. Thing. 80s Asian craziness. All right, here's the backstory from what I understand. I could be wrong, but this is just from what I understand. When Kim Jong-il, who's the North Korean dictator, leader, okay. um, was a kid, his father was in charge. When his father was in charge, he went and kidnapped a South Korean film director who he forced to direct this film for his son, Kim Jong-il. Happy birthday! Yeah, I like, guess. I, what I, the fuck? I really can't believe that that's the story behind it, but it is. He also kidnapped his wife with him because the director's wife is an actress, so it used both of them. Um, anyway, it's a giant monster movie. It looks like um, 
I don't know, Godzilla, Gamera, that kind of thing. With a Minotaur. Yeah, he's, he looks more like an armadillo slash Minotaur. Yeah. Um, but it's also got some sort of band thing right there. So, I mean, I need to do more research, but... We just got it today. Yeah, so. it, and I, don't even, I didn't even know about it. Um, this is just from me reading up about it right before I made this. Um, sounds like it's going to be crazy. And just, the, just to know that it, that was especially made for Kim Jong-il makes it that Kinda much weird. more amazing. I bet it sucks. Okay. Think? Oh, I'm sure it's going to be just wonderful. <laughs> Full of um, little micro machine matchbox cars and <laughs> dude in a rubber suit. Little houses made out of cardboard boxes. Good stuff. All right, the last two um, is a copy of the the experimental image. Of Shinichi imag- Tariyama. Yeah, Tariyama. Anyway, with some horrible- experimental Japanese director from the 70s. He worked into the very early 80s, I believe, as far as film. And then um, I think he also passed away in the 80s. Anyway, he was a crazy art house director. The stuff that he did is, from what I can tell, phenomenal. The only thing I've actually seen is Empire Tomato Ketchup. And it was a short film that I watched. Um, I know that in this box set, there is a long version of that film. Um, but this has all of his, all of his works in complete, all 16 films. So that's really, really awesome. It's on four discs. The total runtime is 346 minutes. So everything he ever did. Um, yeah, other than Empire Tomato Ketchup, I think if you guys watch that and you like it, you'll want to check out the rest of his stuff. But if you watch it and hate it, don't. then I probably would say don't bother because it's all probably really crazy like that. But anyway, here's the cool artwork that uh, came with it. And then, you know, it has a listing of all the films. Can I show this? Yeah. Okay. That's the back of the other one. <laughs> like some Austin Powers shit. When they're, ten, when they're in the tin or whatever. Yeah. I like this cover more. Anyway, when this was released, it was a few hundred dollars for this box set. And it came with four uh, different cases. And I think this is the cover of the first one. In the, you know, whatever. He, we fit it. You know, it's fit onto just these two. It's so cool. Thank but it has so all much. four discs. That's awesome. That was a great tra- trade, trade from Chad. Chad. Um, so that's it. That's all the mail. Uh, let's try and knock these. Are okay. good, are bad, and are unusual. They, uh... Okay. Um, first is Cherry 2000. This is a Dookie cover. Um, we waited forever to watch this movie because of its Dookie cover. Yeah, it has a really crap cover. It just looks like crap. Um, it's supposed to be a Mad Max Type post-apocalyptic thing. awesome story. Basically, this guy has a robot wife, sex robot, sex robot. <laughs> his, his cherry 2000 yeah. is his sex bot and she breaks while doing things and uh so he tries to get parts and they don't make them anymore so he hires this tracker to take him into the forbidden zone to find the parts for his sex robot wife yep and it's <laughs> full of all the craziness you expect from a post-apocalyptic film it was actually really really well done and they put a ton of money into it yeah um, this scene never happens. I actually, I, 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 hate I hate this cover. I wish I could print off a different cover just to cover this piece of she crap just looks cover. Stupid. But I do like the discard. It's so simple, I know, but yeah. I really dig it. Anyway, um, she is kind of cool. I like her hair. I don't. I do. But yeah. Anyway, um, she is. She's like. She's a badass. It's like tank girl, and like she's like not there because she's like. So soft-spoken. She's soft-spoken instead she's not, of outgoing like, and obnoxious. She's not, like, crazy and just, like, do as I say. She's just, like... Anyway, the, the film has a lot of brutal stuff in it, too, which was oh shocking because it's a light-hearted 80s adventure movie. <laughs> and then all of a sudden it's, and like, then, gruesome death. Yeah, and then there's some pretty brutal stuff. There's, like, this evil dictator who rules the wasteland, and he just kills people in horrid ways. I'll, I'll, I'll explain one scene, one brutal killing that I just didn't expect. They take this random guy, and they, uh, they put a bag over his head, like, to just tell him to do He's like, okay. And puts it on his head, and there's a target on the face part, and they just... Yeah, he just... shoots him point blank with a bow <laughs> and arrow, arrow right in the face and kills him. And, and then they all just kind of like... Then take... they kind of laugh about it, and that's it. And, and then it goes to back to lighthearted 80s feel. Dancing and doing whatever they're doing. I don't, I don't know why they like thought that. that was a good idea, but there's some know. random brutal scenes. It was good. I liked it. All right, next one. Okay, I have to get the thing out, otherwise I'll... All right, here comes the complete title. This, this movie has the longest title <clears throat> in movie history. 
Night of the day of the dawn of the sun of the bride of the return of the revenge of the terror of the attack of the evil mutant hell-bound flesh-eating alien. What is that? Brawlin? Mm, Zombified? Living dead. I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with Brawlin right there. Just can't read it. Um, this is it right there. It's a poster for it. It's a DVD-R we got in a trade. Uh, it's they took Night of the Living Dead because no, no. it's a public. He took Night okay, of the Living Dead. Okay, yeah. This one single guy took the film Night of the Living Dead and he wiped the audio track off completely and uh, he redid it himself. He dubbed everyone's voice, Poorly. made all the really bad sound effects and really bad jokes. Um, it it could have been done like well. Could have been could've something been an awesome. awesome film. It and really instead, been. it's like this like embarrassment and. I have wanted to see it for years, and I finally got a hold of it in a trade, and I was so excited to watch it, and then there's just a bunch of fart jokes, and just some... <laughs> he has no friends! Oh my god. Yeah, he I just, just, like, he I... voices over everybody, so, like, he'll be like, hey, wife, do you want to go to the supermarket and buy me a sandwich? And she's like, yes, honey, I'd like to buy you a sandwich. Like, just horrible I could... jokes. I just picture this dude with no friends sitting in his basement, talking into a mic while he's watching the film. It's like, bad. he's got it all written out. No, he didn't write anything. Times. No, he didn't write anything. He just, he just went with it. All First right. take. So that's bad. it. That's the longest, the, the film with the longest title in history. I don't think there's a release, and if there is, it, it must have been some kind of limited VHS thing. I but uh, we got the DVD-R in a trade, which was cool. So, the last thing. Painful. Okay, last is my super awesome platinum uh, of Alice in Wonderland. Open it up. Yeah. By the way, it's the special un-anniversary edition. I love that. It's cute. Oh, it's got like a nice little... Felt? Felt. Is that what that is? Felt. Um, it's a movie. A certificate of awesomeness. A... One of those... Lentistic covers. I hate that. I don't like that word. And a deck of cards, which, oddly enough, comes with a lot of limited things. Cards. People like cards. I guess so. Yeah. A lot of stuff has been showing up with cards lately. Weird. Anyway, this is awesome. Um, I just finished watching the new Tim burton whatever that was. Did <laughs> Tim Burton make that? that? He probably had part of it. Something to do with it. He puts his name on lots of things. But I know his name's on there somewhere. Yeah, anyway, the remake with Johnny Depp. Yeah, it, 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 it was... It's all fake, for one. And, I don't know. I just kind of don't really like CG stuff. CGI or whatever. Here's the back. It's awesome. There are two more of these I need to get. There's Bambi. And Sword in the Stone. Yeah, the American book editions like this are way smaller. Ugh. I have one right now. I'll show that. No, I got one. See, like, this is the American one. So when I bought this one, I thought it was the same thing because the picture was like, you know, yeah, the picture a little looks tiny the same, little eBay thing. As you can tell, they're a big difference in the size. So it doesn't really fit in the picture. And these Ooh. American ones are the part of the diamond collection. Yeah. They both say it up on top. It's Miss Snow White. And it has the movies in it. This one's actually got the steel book in it. <laughs> I bought both. Yeah, we, we double dipped, I guess. I guess so. The books are so nice, though. I love them. There's a little heart box on the back. Anyway, they're awesome, and there's only a few more that I need to complete. But yeah, those are good, better, and usual. Well, that's going to do it for us, guys. Yeah. Until next it. time, take it easy, guys.